This is a great story. So, um, drum roll. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, Kaylin and I met through our own through the Manpower Group Supplier Diversity Program. Um, we have for years put on an annual roundtable uh, where we'll invite in um, 100 plus uh, diverse suppliers and uh, pri primarily the owners of those companies and we spend and invest two or three days of helping to mentor them, helping to develop them, keeping um, them abreast of topical developments within the industry and, and Kaylin um, had attended a, a couple of those and it expressed some interest to the head of our um, supplier diversity group, uh, Shalita Dunn, and said, hey, I'd, I'd like to meet Kemp. And uh, so he came in, we arranged for a meeting one day, he sat down and uh, my goodness, I think our 30 minutes lasted much longer than that, but uh, we quickly moved away from the traditional, here's, here's what I have and here's how I can support you, to a much more philosophical discussion of who are you and who am I. And, and by the way, that's an important distinction because as I said earlier, you know, Manpower Group is a staffing company and often we rely on other staffing companies to help us deliver. And so here's Kalen, uh, a development organization, real estate development, is coming in and saying, hey, I don't know how this relationship is going to develop, but I know that I'd like to share with you what we do and why we do it, and I'd like to see where it goes. Once you get in, into business and the business is going, you want to get smart all of a sudden. But when you didn't have anything, when you only had yeah. a stick and a rock, and you were very creative and you were willing to meet any and everybody. And I try to make sure that I force myself to stay in that trench. Uh, so I had heard a lot about Kip. I, I know we know a lot, a lot about manpower. I had heard through Shalita Dunn, um, Kip's visionary thinking. And of course, it's like, ah, uh, no, it can't be. And But what I will do is I will take the time to meet with him. And as he said, the meeting wasn't to sell what we do. I had no clue if what we do fit what he needed. But it was more so of, we're out here. This is what we do. Uh, and more importantly, this is who I am. We've had some discussions about this. And it was, for me, I understand that if Kip is anything like other CEOs, he's been down a road that he's encountered many, many people, and he will continue, continue to encounter those, encounter those people. That doesn't do me any, have any value for me if I don't let him know that I'm out here in the world. So whether it be with manpower or, or whomever, it was, my, it was incumbent upon me to let him know, hey, I'm here. And if, if there's some value here, um, let's explore it. But more so, when we walk away from this meeting, um, I hope that you uh, um, understand, you know, as I always say, um, you can, you can uh, identify with my integrity and that you would pass my name on to someone if it ever comes up um, that they may need our services. Thank you.